watching the film back from Sunday, what were your biggest takeaways uh -huh. for you guys in the second day? Uh, I say we didn't get off to a fast start. We didn't come out and play the game how it needed to be played in the beginning. And um, we gave up too many yards, too many points in the beginning. And um, kind of settled in in the second half. Can't wait until the second half, though. There's more than three quarterbacks who have had more than 400 yards passing in a game this season, and two of them have been against you guys. Why do you think that is? Um, we got to go out and do our job. Um, like I said, we just need to focus a little more, lock in, and just do our job. In terms of the adjustments you guys made the second half going more to man, how much, how more difficult is that trying to do it on the fly in the first half compared to making the adjustments at halftime? Uh, the game is always presenting opportunity where you got to change the defense, but when you're going against man, it also presents a challenge against a quarterback that can run too because you've seen a couple of times on he got away on those third and longs, scrambling with his legs. So, you know, you got your, you got your, if you play man, it's always that aspect of it too, but. Like I said, we got to be able to play both. We got to be able to play zone. We got to be able to play man and um, go out there and execute. Uh, sounds like Fields is going to be out another week, and Page is going to start just watching that game from, from Sunday. From him. What, do you, what do you see? A lot of confidence. It looked like he's having fun. It looked like they believe in him, too, by the plays they're calling. So um, we got to be ready. Um, anybody, anybody that has confidence in this league, you got to be ready. And um, like I said, we got to come get the W on Sunday playing like a rookie quarterback versus a Justin Fields when there's not as much uh, no, film on them? No fear. I mean, they don't have none to lose. And if I'm a young player coming out there, like, you know, I'm, I'm new, I'm fresh, I got none to lose. I'm just trying to go out there and get a win. So, you know, we got to be ready for that. When it comes to preparing for a guy like Beja, since he has only one regular season game, do you guys watch film of preseason going back to when he played in college? How much are you looking? Oh, it's the NFL. We watch everything. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we, we scouting everything. We're watching everything. So it's the NFL. What do, you, what do you think when you hear the quarterback you're facing? He's a Division II guy you probably never heard of. I mean, do you, do you take it serious? I mean, what's your reaction when you hear about him? You got to take it serious because they just beat one of our division opponents last week. Um, and. They had a lot of rushing yards and a lot of passing yards. So we got to just come out. You can't take nobody lightly in this league or you'll get humbled. So we got to come out and execute and be ready to play on Sunday night. Obviously, DJ Moore, explosive in uh, Carolina, is doing the same thing in Chicago. Just what have you kind of seen from him on film? Uh, baller. Uh, been a fan of DJ Moore. Uh, like I said, he good after the catch, yards after the catch. So we got to know where he at at all times and be able to get him on the ground when he, if he do catch the ball. Is one of those tight ends that uh, long, athletic? Just what have you seen from him? Uh, like I say, tough guy that, that can block very well. He can get open. They like him a lot over there. Um, one of their top targets, so he's just got to be ready.